many of us look exactly the same as we did when we were young. While it shouldn't be a surprise that we all change as we get older, we can't help but feel shock when we see before and after photos of child stars we know and love. Some don't even look the same and we wonder if the media is trying to punk us. We'll let you be the judge as we show you some famous Disney stars you'll never recognize today. As we get ready to do some time traveling, take a moment to subscribe to our channel. All you need to do is click on the red subscribe button and you'll be all set. For the special VIP treatment, click on the gray bell to turn on your notifications. Kimberly J. Brown Halloween Town was one of Disney Channel's unexpected hits, and we all couldn't get enough of Marnie and the Cromwell Witches. Who didn't want to have a magic wand and a flying broom? In fact, the movie was loved so much that there were three additional sequels. We were all shocked when star Kimberly J. Brown didn't return for the fourth movie, Return to Halloween Town. Brown played the main role of Marnie Piper, and her chemistry with Debbie Reynolds made us all want to move to Halloween Town. Brown was one of those stars who we wondered where they ended up after their time with Disney. Brown's acting career started when she was just five years old, and after Halloween Town, she ended up having a decent career in television and film. Brown has also lent her voice to several commercials, including Tricks, where she says the famous tagline, Tricks are for kids. If you look back at her Disney days and compare it to today, she looks quite different and has grown into her looks. We can safely say that time has been kind to Brown and she still has a loyal fan base to this day. Shia LaBeouf Shia LaBeouf is one of those guys who has had such an expansive career as an adult that we've forgotten that he got his start as a Disney child star. He played the role of Lewis in Even Stevens, where he was the goofball younger brother of the sibling duo. After that, he landed a huge role in Holes, which jump-started his film career. He looks so young and innocent that you can't even picture this kid taking on the roles that his adult self has done. This is especially true when LaBeouf is sporting a beard and totally rocking adulthood. With a side-by-side -side comparison of when he was with Disney and today, you have to wonder if it's even the same person. It seems that LaBeouf has taken some of the zaniness and quirkiness of Lewis and applied it to his life. Why do we say that? Well, he's known for making some interesting publicity stunts like wearing a paper bag over his head and road tripping around the world asking people to find him. Being esoteric has seemed to become a trademark of his, and we seem to be looking forward to his next set of publicity antics. Love watching our videos, but looking for a more ad-free browsing experience? Take your video viewing to the next level and sign up for the Premium Network. You'll get the first peek at the newest content from not only The Richest, but Screen Rant, The Taco, The Sportster, The Things, and many more. Thousands of your favorite videos in one place is a no-brainer. Click here to be the first in line for The Premium. Ariel Winter Ariel Winter is a Disney child star who has grown up in the public. We have watched her go from an innocent and sweet child to a fierce and beautiful woman. Given that a good deal of child stars go through a rough time as they age, she seems to be doing okay. She plays Alex Dunphy on the ABC show Modern Family and the network is owned by none other than Disney. Winter also lends her talents to Mickey Mouse on a regular basis along with regular visits to Disneyland while wearing a romper. She is the voice of Princess Sophia in the Disney Channel show Sophia the First, and you can see her in numerous TV specials for Disney. Not only did she go from a nerdy-looking kid to a bombshell, but she is the epitome of the not-so-ugly duckling turning into a beautiful swan. If we all aged as gracefully as winter, well, the world would be filled with some gorgeous darn people. This is another one we can say that Father Time has been kind to. From the looks of her career, it seems that she has a lot more to show us and we'll be happy to find out as time goes on. Moises Arias Moises Arias played Rico in Disney's Hannah Montana. Since he was one of the younger stars, his aging process has become one of the most surprising. He isn't so little anymore and has grown into a young man who continues to get regular work in the entertainment industry. Along with making appearances in several different Disney Channel shows and movies like Dad Napped, Wizards of Waverly Place, and The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, he also made appearances in music videos. 
You can spot him in music videos for the Jonas Brothers, Jaden Smith, and even Pearl Jam. As he has gotten older, naturally, he has taken on more mature roles in indie projects in movies like Ben-Hur and Ender's Game. Arias has grown up and his appearances show that he's more into serious and dramatic roles that are the opposite of the quirky role of Rico. But just because he's no longer a kid, it doesn't mean that he's forgotten his Disney roots. He and former co-stars like Emily Osmond often reunite to remember the good times of Hannah Montana and how it gave them the boost to continue working in Hollywood, even after growing up. Emily Osmond Speaking of Emily Osmond, have you seen her lately? Did we mention that her brother is Haley Joel Osmond? Hollywood is a family tradition. While she hasn't become nearly as famous as Miley, she continues to make a splash in the Disney company. Mainly, she isn't as controversial as her Hannah Montana co-star, but as the saying goes, the squeaky wheel gets the oil, or in this case, the media attention. Today, Osmond stars in the freeform show Young and Hungry, which is also owned by Disney. But her role for freeform is much more adult, and she's no longer playing the cute best friend of Miley Cyrus. If you look at her transformation from a child with wide eyes, it's hard to even pinpoint that that's the same person. Sure, we all grow up and lose our innocence eventually, it's only natural. If you compare the then and now of the actress, something has definitely changed in her eyes. Or maybe it's just the makeup. Osmond has managed to grow into a gorgeous young woman who is ready to tackle the more mature roles. Well, it's break time. Here's a quiz to help you deal with those feelings of getting oh so old. The Disney Channel is one of the most popular networks around. When did it start? We'll reveal the answer at the end of the video. In the meantime, here are some more Disney stars you won't recognize. AJ Trout. AJ Trout played Twitty in the Disney Channel show Even Stevens, and he was the first crush for many youngins back in the early 2000s. Who didn't swoon over Twitty's luscious blonde locks? Even though he wasn't the star of the show, he proved himself to be quite a supporting character. But after Even Stevens went off the air, it seemed that Throat went off the radar. What a lot of people don't know is that he ended up voicing Josh Mankey on the Disney animated show Kim Possible. Throat also made appearances on shows like Reba and House, and even recently starred in Camp Cool Kids. If your crush for Twitty has been reignited, we have some bad news for you. Well, it's good if you're not crushing on him. He recently got married to Leah Pipes. What makes this love story a true Disney fairy tale is that Leah is a Disney Channel star who appeared in Pixel Perfect. If you look at Trout's today, no longer does he have those long blonde locks, and he's growing out some facial hair. Well, hello, natural process of aging. You can't deny that he's still looking pretty darn good. Miley Cyrus. Admit it, you were just waiting for us to talk about Miley Cyrus. Her transformation in the aging process might actually be more dramatic than Hayley Mills. For those true Disney nerds, Hayley Mills starred in the original Parent Trap movie in 1961, which puts her in her 70s today. This isn't a dig at Cyrus, but for real, let us take a look at her then and now photos. Could you truly say that these photos were of the same person? She is clearly no longer Billy Ray's little girl as she had her time of really going nuts. But hey, when you're living with the pressure of always being cute and innocent, eventually you want to break free. Plus, it seemed that Cyrus was trying really hard to break away from her good girl image, maybe a little bit too hard. Some people even wondered if she was living like Hannah Montana in real life, as her stage persona was so extreme, people hoped that she was more level-headed behind the scenes. Her tongue ended up becoming nearly as iconic as Gene Simmons. If that sounds blasphemous to you KISS fans, it's true. Growing up has been an interesting process for Cyrus, and it seems that she's getting her feet back on the ground these days. Hopefully it continues, and she continues to bring us some awesome music. Dan Benson When Dan Benson played Zeke on Disney Channel's Wizards of Waverly Place, he was cute and endearing. He looked like a guy who would likely get friend-zoned at first before finally getting with a girl at the end. Yeah, that's kind of what the evolution of his character was like. If you were to picture what he would look like today, would you be able to picture him becoming a hunk? No? Well, read it and weep. He has clearly hit the gym since the show went off the air, and he has proven that you can certainly change your appearance dramatically thanks to time and lifting a couple weights. 
His physique is certainly the polar opposite of what we saw on Wizards of Waverly Place, and female fans are rejoicing. If anything, this should serve as a lesson to everyone not to judge that geeky-looking kid in school. You don't know where they'll be and what they'll look like in 10 years. In terms of his Hollywood career, he is still working as he has done some voice work for the show Rick and Morty and he's making cameos in other shows. Chances are you've probably seen him and didn't even recognize him. Kirsten Storms In 1999, Disney Channel blessed us with movies like Xenon, Girl of the 21st Century, and Xenon the Sequel. Yes, the pun of the sequel is pretty cringeworthy, and let's not forget the third movie, Z3. Kids couldn't get enough of the intergalactic heroine. But what happened to the girl who played the lead? Kirsten Storms put away her mouse ears for a bit and joined the world of daytime television. She landed the role of Belle Black on the hit soap opera Days of Our Lives, and it ended up being a dream come true for her. She even managed to balance her soap opera commitments with her Disney demands for a few years and made appearances in other movies like Johnny Tsunami, lending her voice to Kim Possible, and even made an appearance on the show That's So Raven. Storms did star in the short-lived show Clubhouse, which only aired for five episodes on CBS before getting canceled. Since then, Storms returned to soap operas and has been making a splash on shows like General Hospital and Winterthorne. Brandon Michael Smith If you're a fan of the Disney Channel sitcom Sunny with a Chance, then you'll remember Brandon Michael Smith, who played Nico Harris. He was also on the Disney show Phil of the Future. Time has certainly been kind to Smith, and it also busted out the chisel. Smith started acting when he was young, and he's an avid roller skater. After his time with Disney was done, he was on the show Skating with the Stars, and rumor has it he's going to be a judge on the show America's Got Talent. Smith also plays James Brown in the biopic Get On Up, and he's a regular on the show You're the Worst. With a physique like that, we're not surprised that he's getting regular work. Plus, he managed to shed the innocent look and get some more mature roles. Smith recently found himself in trouble with the law as he was taken into custody after he was caught driving under the influence. His transformation from his time with Disney to today took him from a kid to a stunningly handsome star. When did the Disney Channel start? That would be 1983. Wowzers. We hope you enjoyed this magical trip down memory lane. If you don't think you're aging gracefully, just remember that these former Disney child stars are standing the test of time right along with you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be sure to check out some of these other awesome videos from our channel. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.